Okay, so some of you have asked about uh, question number two from quiz two, part two, and uh, the fifth part or fifth stage or phase of bacterial growth. So let me go over that so everyone has that. We have our lag, our log, our stationary, our decline, whoops, let me move that, our decline, and then, and I'll label these in a sec for you. And then there's this part that we get to called prolonged decline. So I know this isn't pretty, but this is the lag phase. This is the log or exponential phase. This is stationary. This is decline or death. And this part starting about here is prolonged decline. It takes a while for all of the cells to die. There's a long period of time where a few hang on in, let's say, a culture tube that you inoculated and just left without um, subculturing from it or anything like that. I hope that that helps you with this, but I want to show you another graph while I have you here. And this is graphing the progress of a disease. So we have the number of infectious agents. This is for your new notes. Quiz 3. This is still time down here. And we're going to have something that looks like a bell-shaped curve. Okay? And we have incubation. Then we have prodromal. I know you can't read this well, but prodromal. So incubation, this is the time between the exposure to the disease-causing organism and there being any vague symptoms. Prodromal would be you just are starting to feel a little bad, but you're not sick yet. Then you have the invasive stage. And this is when the signs and symptoms are getting really bad until whoops, the acne. The acne is the point at which the signs and symptoms are their worst. Then there's the decline phase. Okay? And then there is, let me check my name on this, the convalescence. Oh great, I probably can't spell that. Convalesc convalescence. You can check the spelling on that. That's toward the end. One thing I want to point out is that there are some diseases that are cyclic, so they will start over again, okay? Uh, maybe as bad, maybe not as bad. Uh, something like relapsing fever, uh, malaria tends to do that, where you go through this whole set and then it starts over again. Do not confuse this with um, the stages of a viral infection. Those are different as well. Um, a virus attaches a virus injects either the whole virus or the nucleic acid, then uh, replication and production of proteins occurs, then assembly of new viruses, and finally lysis and release. So do not confuse that with just an overall general occurrence of any type of disease, be it viral, bacterial, uh, from a protist, or whatever, okay?